In the last movie, you guys saw me build this. The start of a trophy wall, where I'm gonna have all my trophies from my racing career. And as you guys can see, it's huge. So we for sure have to do more car races in the future to fill this up. So now the last thing I did yesterday, it's a new week now actually, Monday. Well done this one. Now I'm gonna have a piece from here, out there, and down to that place. This piece is done cut, and it's here. I'm gonna weld it now. And to weld, we need gas. We have to turn on this one. How is this one looking? Ah, oh, it's sharp and good. And we need the U-ring that we put there. Now it's sanding the welds. After doing the reverse with the file, we're gonna use this one. Yeah, that's good enough. Almost nothing from this corner gonna be visible when it's done, so it's good enough. Somebody calling me now. <clears throat> Perfect. Then I'm gonna weld this one there, and I'm gonna weld it over there, and a few points on the middle. Then, is this one welder on? Now then, I'm gonna make a support in this hole to have a plate to cover off here. Because I didn't want to make this uh, cabin into this one because then it had been too much angle and stuff. That's why I went straight down there and over there. I'm just gonna cover it with a white plate. I think that's gonna be looking okay. Yeah. Then I first welded those together as two pieces in 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna weld those together. There we go, it's fitting. But this wall is not an angle that you can see, it's a small gap there. But that have nothing to say in the end. Now then I'm gonna have a plate there, to there and down, a black one. So it looks like this wall is going down. Same one underneath here. So I'm covering up this hole. And I'm gonna have a white plate here. Those I'm gonna make now. And for that, I'm gonna use some old pieces from this Ebon plates. This is thin aluminum, plastic, and then thin aluminum again. It's the same plates I've been using here, the white ones. And on the door I made down there, the stainless steel brusher ones. Same materials as this. It is some electricity problems here today with uh, the cutter to cut its plates. So I'm gonna wait with this. And I'm going to start to cut the, the supports for the shelves. That we're going to do now. Now I put up the laser. Down to the point where the support is. And I put tape everywhere on top of the roof there. Where this one ending. Then we turn on this one. And I put it around there. Then I have to check that this laser is ah, it's perfect where it should be, actually. There we have the measurement. All these six supports are cutted and sanded and cleaned. Today the cutter is working, but this is a little bit too tight here now. Shit. I actually don't know what's wrong with the cutter. It's just that some days it don't start, another one it starts. I don't know. I'm not an electricity guy. Then we're gonna take away. That's the wrong way. We're gonna take away ah, two millimeters, I think. Yeah, that's two millimeters. 
Come on. There we go, now it's fitting. But I managed to touch here with my dirty hands. That's an amateur. So now I have to paint a little bit there before I can mount this one. There we go. So. I now also carried this piece and this one and those gonna be painted black so it looks like one piece those pieces are now painted black but i'm gonna wait with this now because this uh shiny board from my sponsor avli hansen has arrived and that's uh, this one so now i gotta measure up here we're gonna go a little bit lower with this one there we go zero so now then, now a massive work start. This is a huge job. In those, we're gonna be from there and up. I'm gonna make holes here. Each 10 centimeters. Because then I can do like this. Here's a test. Then I can just put those in different hole I want to have for the shelves. It's gonna be good or? And we also made this one. So when I made one hole, I can just put it in and then I know where the next one is going to be. It's a, like a yig. A yig. I also got this one from my sponsor today, Tidy Langacker AS. A tapping fluid. Smøre og kjæreveske. It's for making holes like we're going to do now, that to keep this for a much longer time. So it don't get sløv. Me and my dad made few... Uh, test us here now so now we know the speed and uh, how much it's gonna matter so now i'm gonna move this machine over there because to yeah here it's gonna just be a mess <laughs> too little space first thing now is this one down there over that one completely down then i put that one around there i push this one down then i have to center this one difficult now when i make movie like that then I'm tightening here behind the camera. Here, this one. Now this is stuck. Now we're gonna start making a hole. First of all, a little bit of the liquid from my sponsor, Shari Olia. Start. Then I take it down to where we're gonna make a hole. And you can hear it's making nice sounds. And I do like this. Then it makes it the hole itself. Bam, up, stop. Then it's important to check this one underneath because sometimes a piece like this, the center of the hole, it's sitting here. And this you have to remove. If not, you're not gonna make a hole, then you're just gonna destroy this one. And then I have to look down in there because now it's a piece down there, of course. Then I use this magnet, I have to take off that one. You see, there we got two pieces. That one have to get out of there before we make hole. If not, then we're gonna then we're gonna destroy the next one. Then put start again. Down. Then have to listen again. Yeah, make good sound. Then we just start it there. Boom. Done. Next one. And here you guys can see now it's a piece there. There it goes. Two of those is done. I'm not making hole completely down because I'm never gonna have a shelf so low. So then I save some holes here. But now then, is it four left? I'm gonna start with the long one. So it gets easier and easier. All right then. Four done, this one. And this one to go. Oh la la, I'm done. So now then I'm gonna clean up this acera. I have now removed the grader around all the holes, both sides. Clean those, clean the floor. Now I'm gonna sand it down. The weather 
It's so great, you know, I can paint this outside. How are you doing? Now we are videoing with Stian. How are you doing, Stian Normalt? Good. Huh? That, that's, uh, that's my brother. <laughs> Name brother? Name brother and brother. That's all my fault, that's all Today, Saturday, my, my Betty Yoon have been here. We've been doing different stuff, but now uh, after you went home, I continue new, new, new ed with this uh, trophy wall. And now I welded on those two. This one is on, all the way up. Same as this one. Yeah. And this one. It's only this one left. So now I'm gonna put it in where it should be. Welding in the bond bottom and I have a bolt into the wood there and on top I'm gonna to make supports tomorrow then was that one also on whoops right now we can actually start to look and see how huge it's gonna be I also glue on those two plates today so now it looks like it's wall is going down there and yeah, it's a little bit darker now, but now I'm gonna continue tomorrow. It's Sunday. Sunday morning. It's a little dark outside. After I weld on that one, that one, and this one, I now made a support over there. I have not put primer on it after I masked it, and now I'm waiting for that to dry, and then I'm gonna paint a black color, eh? While I'm waiting for the primer to dry, I'm gonna have a TV here in this room. So I'm painting black inside the frame where it should be. So that's done too. I did now also put primer here, and there I'm done with the black also. But here I have to put black when the primer is dry. So now it's only the bottom frame will have to be painted later on, I think. Now it's totally done up there. This one, I only glue it on because this one is mounted good. Also this one, so I just glue it between. So it's gonna be, wait, these two together, these two together and those two together. But when we reach that far, so now I'm gonna remove this welding table. We'll move it more to the, like this. And, I feel fun, that heavy us. Ah, there it stopped. Yeah, that's because of this cable. Anyway, between here is coming some plates. I'm gonna show you which type of plate. Those plates are called perforated platter. That's like the brown one with a lot of holes. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna come place like this between here as a wall. I'm gonna paint them black. It's going all the way up to the, the floor there, like this. From the floor and up, it's gonna be glass on both sides. Uh, but between this pedifered uh, platte, and then I mean like here somewhere. I'm gonna measure that out now. I'm gonna have. This huge glass is my plan. Holy shit, it's huge. Maybe it's too huge. Maybe it's better with that size. Hmm. I'm not sure right now. What do you guys think? Maybe this size is fitting better than this one. Maybe this one is too, too huge. I don't know now. But the main point, then I have to go back inside, is when you are coming to Stian Palzer Racing from this new main door. You come inside here, oh, you see all the trophies and blah, blah, blah. And the here, you can see through this wall into the workshop. And when this is away, and I'm working here somewhere, I can also see through there. See if it's coming people, you know. So then we just have to find out the size of the glass. This one is 190. 
point 153. This one is 80. Point, 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 point. Oh, nice moving. Ja, faen det. Legg det der. Ja, faen det. Uh, same, uh, same wide da. Just uh, smaller on the way. Wide. Or the height. I do also have this glass. Glasses. Maybe that's an option too. I'm so unsure now. So if I put a line there, we first of all gonna roll out. If you take a huge glass, it's from there, the green tape, all the way up there. That's gonna to be too, too huge. So the, the huge one is out, it's out. And that is the size of the 190.80 I have out there. Hmm. Those here is 90, 10 centimeter higher than this one. This is also isolate, isolated glass, so it's wider. For me now, it will be better to use a thinner one. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. 90.266. The glass I was talking about last time there now, what I think I'm gonna use gonna be around there a little bit like 10 centimeters more there and 10 centimeters shorter there don't you guys think that's gonna be good or what yo I think that's gonna be good we go for that after all that talk about uh, window sizes I think it's time to end this video thanks for watching hope you enjoy it thanks to all the new subscribers hope you guys like it Thanks for all the comments and uh, just please continue comment and tell me what you think, especially if I do something wrong and uh, pro guys see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, this is how it goes. New movies coming soon.